Hey, hey, hey! Merry Christmas Eve! Merry Christmas! Guess how lucky you guys are. You get a bonus episode of Lessons and Legacies today. This is episode 14.5, 14 and a half. Wow. You, if you guys tuned in earlier, I had my special guest, Mr. Claus, or my husband, Nathan Price. We uh, had the bests and worst of Christmas lessons and blessings and uh, had a lot of fun earlier today. And my very, very good friend, Adriana, she popped in. She was like a, a Christmas elf that popped in this evening. We were gonna be doing some Christmas spending time together tomorrow, but- Tonight was the night. Tonight ended up being the night because she got blessed with a really cool opportunity. She gets to go <laughs> and, and she gets to go and take a little Christmas trip. So safe travels and love to you. Thank you, baby. And so, yes, we were going to be hanging out and doing a special tomorrow. And maybe we will get to do one maybe for 2021 In to the start year, the sure. new year. Not out, maybe. Right? We're doing it. But we wanted to take a minute to come on in and give you guys some love. See how you guys are doing. What's going on, Brittany? What are you doing right now? What is your Christmas Eve filled with? We are just uh, hanging out probably for a little bit longer here. And then um, the kids are currently frosting cookies for Santa. for Santa. There's frosting everywhere, which is why I left Nate out there. And I decided to come <laughs> in here and make a video and have a toast. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas cheers. What you doing, Brittany? I want to hear. Hear about it. I hope you got a lot of uh, good orders on your bracelets and stuff too. I can't wait. I can't wait to get mine. Um, so yeah, we uh, were, oh, okay, she says, oh, hey, Kelly, what's going on? Kelly Little's in the house. He says, happy holidays. What are happy you up holidays. to? I missed you guys earlier. We were, uh, when I was on with my husband, we were kind of playing like the best and the worst of Christmas kind of game. and. My friend, I gotta just, watch that. my friend I gotta just watch popped that. in here and yeah, because, you know, we're just doing a quick one right now just to give you guys a little bit of late night love and, and life. Wishing you the best. Um, the I'll year. ask, I'll ask a couple questions and for whoever is on, I encourage you put your comments, post your comments up. Okay. I'm going to post them. All right. So as far as movies. What is your favorite quiz Christmas movie and your least favorite Christmas movie? I think Home Alone, probably for a lot of people. Home Alone, Yay. that came up earlier. Home Alone is one of my first, favorites. First, second, and third. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like the third one too much, but the first and the second. They were bomb. I've seen them so many times, it's it's sick. It's so it's funny. Sick. And what's your worst? What's your least favorite Christmas movie? Uh, I don't know. Because Nate love and I, movie. that was the first thing we kind of like looked at each other and were like, we have the same movie in mind. Which one was it? The, a Christmas story. You didn't. You don't care for that one. No, with the kid with the glasses and the pink bunny suit, and he's talking <laughs> about. He, I want a BB gun, and they're like, you shoot your out, and he's got this the whole slide scenario. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that didn't do oh. it for you. It's so funny. You guys I just the watched same. it. I watched it not Christmas because movie. we both watched it for too many times. What's your favorite one? We both picked Elf. Elf love for Elf. comedy. Yes. But then Home Alone came up in it too. I love the Home Alone. Look, Kelly's like, Home Alone. Woo. And what's the other one? Miracle on what street? Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, that I'm, one was cute too. Miracle on what street? Jesus. Which street <laughs> I wasn't was sure it? the number. <laughs> which street was that? It was on 15th Street, maybe. I don't no. know. 34th, mm -hmm. right? Hey, Yvette. Yeah, yeah, I think it's 34th Street. I love that. Miracle movie. on 34th Street. What are you doing this evening, Yvette? Yvette's in New York. Merry Christmas Eve. Oh. We're just hanging out, shenanigans. My friend's popping in. She's going on a little mission tomorrow to celebrate Christmas. And so we are celebrating our little time tonight. And uh, we were going to do a show tomorrow. We're doing it now. And yes. just a, a quickie. Just, just a quickie. quickie. <laughs> a Christmas quickie, a Christmas you know, quickie. we all need those. I'll toast to that again. Yes, cheers. Cheers. What's the next one. All right. Oh, she, Yvette says, she says, I watch The Home Alone yes. on a repeat. I do too, man. I could watch it. Like, I, it never gets old. I just love watching those guys get busted up. I really do. They're so <laughs> funny. 
Oh, she says, I'm doing my church homework. Well, good for you. Oh. Good for you. I'm grateful that you took a laugh break. All right, here. Uh, what is, let's see, your favorite Christmas song and the worst Christmas song? Post them. What's yours? Mm, my favorite one. <laughs> I like the um, the Frank Sinatra Christmas song. It's like the old school one. Oh, just like all Frank Sinatra? Yeah, I love much. Frank Sinatra, actually. I think I was like in eighth grade when I got turned on to the Frank Sinatra. Right? Yep. Isn't it It's like, I don't know, that, that he's got something about his voice that's it's nostalgic and warming. I get that. It's very Christmassy. Whenever I hear Frank, I'm like, yep. Christmas is around so the corner. So a Frank Sinatra kind of Christmas. That works. My favorite song is Silent Night, and my least favorite song is probably the Two Front Teeth. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. My two front teeth. My two front teeth. I don't like that one at all. Do the kids like that one? I think they don't like that one. I, I feel like I remember them last year being like, this is an annoying song. Change it, mama. You guys are all the same, the four of you. <laughs> well, we just, uh, maybe we agree on certain things. All right, here's a question for you. If, okay, this is only material. Uh, and post it, guys, whoever's listening. What if Santa could bring you anything this year? And it has to be material. Sorry. We all want health and, and happiness and hope and, and well love. wishes and not just for Christmas, but like every stinking day, right? So if Santa could drop down the chimney and drop you one material thing, if money's no object, what would be the one thing on your wish that wish list that you would want? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I know it was it was a fun one earlier too. I was surprised at some of the comments, you know. I'm curious to see what does Kelly what's Kelly want for Christmas? What's event Yvette want for Christmas? Yeah, when you're younger, you know right away what you want for Christmas. When you get older, it's like you get pickier almost. Like you want more things. I wanted Nikes at one point, you know. <laughs> She's a runner. <laughs> I used to be. Used to be. Yvette. Uh, Yvette says uh, her favorite is Silent Night and yeah. Oh Come, Come All Ye Faithful. Those are good ones. And your wish, your Christmas wish is a bike. Like what kind of bike? Like a motorcycle or, mm -hmm. or a mountain bike? Mountain bike or an exercise bike? There's yes. all kinds of forms of bikes. What kind of bike is Yvette wishing for? We gotta, we gotta put it out there. <laughs> Santa's still out there flying, Yvette. We might be able to like wish some Christmas Bike yeah. action down your chimney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Do you have a wish? Oh my god, it's too hard to answer. She's like, I have everything. No, <laughs> you know what? If you give, I love to travel. So if you put like some, um, you know, something to do with traveling, like you want your own country. Not my own. No, that's too can much. I, that's Santa, too much. can I please have uh, Australia? That's too ambitious. I mean, like, I said, no, there's just no buy me a trip. Money's just buy no me object. a trip to any a island. Trip to Australia. Any island An to Australia. But buy your own island. I mean, or, or just ask Santa, can I have my own island? The Adriana Isle. The Isle of Adriana. <laughs> oh. She's thinking big. Okay, I get it. I mean, uh, I'm visiting you on your island for sure. <laughs> I'll come. I'll stay. I'll move to your island. Uh, <laughs> Yvette said she wants a 10 speed women's bike. Okay. That's a very good wish. Kelly, what's yes. Kelly want? Kelly wants a vacation across the world. We're very big into traveling here. Who doesn't? That's what she was just saying. Yeah. I, I told uh, my husband earlier and everybody else earlier too, and it's still it's true. I just want a banjo. <laughs> I just want a banjo. I just I'd want like to be on a banjo. Beach. A banjo Ooh, on a beach. If I could have a banjo on the beach. Yes. Ooh. A beach. With some banjo. pina coladas, perhaps, you know. That would be good. Yeah. Oh, here's a question I didn't ask uh, on the show earlier. All right. What's your guys' favorite, like, or best Christmas drink? And what's your least favorite Christmas drink? Because, you know, there are some associated drinks out there. It's a ladybug. It's a ladybug. It's good luck. Uh, I know, because we got our red. Yay. There's a little ladybug crawling on the desk here. So cute. <laughs> Sorry, what so, was your question? Worst Christmas drink and favorite Christmas Christmas drink. All right. So I'm My favorite is wine. That's like <laughs> not only a Christmas drink. <laughs> it's my spirit drink. drink. <laughs> it's 
it's my spirit. They call it spirits for a reason. Yeah, you know? no, I get it. <laughs> um, okay. Eggnog, do you like it or not? I was going to say my least favorite is eggnog. Okay. Have you tried Spanish it makes me gassy. eggnog? Coquito? Coquito? I like Coquito. See? Shout out to Lisa Santiago. Oh my <laughs> Missed my coquito this Christmas. I actually yes. revisited it. She is a good friend of mine. She uh, publisher of the book. Um, she dropped off coquito for virgin coquito for the kids oh, and cute. special adult coquito for us. We put a whole a bottle times, of rum, so. like literally. A oh, she whole does. Bottle. Yeah, she yeah. does. She does the works. She's done videos on it too. But yeah, coquito mm -hmm. lover up in here. And you gotta <laughs> Yeah, but I don't like the eggnog. But Either. the coquito's got all the spices in there. It tastes <laughs> like the, I the don't know. It, it takes the egg out of it, yeah, I guess. <laughs> you don't much. taste the egg. You don't taste the egg, you get all the spice and the rum. And the rum, I like yeah. that part, you know? <laughs> Eva says, I don't drink. I'm sorry for you. I'm happy for you, but. Yes. Good job. Good Eva. job for you, but we toast you to your tea then, you know? <laughs> we toast you to whatever it is you Cheers. are sipping on tonight a toast is a toast and all you need is a drink in a glass so alcoholic it or has not. to be it just can't be water because to toast with water is bad luck is it yeah according to what to all latin culture is it yeah just you gotta, I had no it, idea. it's gotta be juice or you know a, a soda or it doesn't have to be alcoholic but it's, it can't be water <laughs> she says uh Ke oh kelly says punch is my favorite eggnog is the least favorite so yeah. kelly he don't like it either he doesn't like the eggnog yeah. uh and yvette loves the eggnog kelly where are you from are you in charlotte are you in north carolina i know yvette's in new york but yvette like i know you like you spent some time in London and whatnot too, and I know that's like something that's pretty well liked over there as well. <laughs> it's just cool to me knowing where everybody's from and the different kinds of drinks and things that we like around this time of year. So, what what about you? Do you have a question? Do you have a Christmas best or worst you'd want to throw out there? I uh, let me think. How about? Yeah, I do. Okay, I go, do. go. Since we were like go, doing go. the Santa Claus with the kids, <laughs> when? How old were you when you found out that Santa Claus? Was you hungry? know, the kids are outside and they're baking cookies for Santa Claus. So yeah. how old do you guys remember? How old were you? Do you remember? I, I can nine. guess. I can ballpark. I was nine. I was so upset with my mom. I'm like, I can't believe you've been lying to me all these years. You How'd know? you find out? She just told me because I started asking for like gifts that were too expensive. So I was like, I gotta tell her, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna go bankrupt with this child. <laughs> That's kind of like where I was like, we were so close this year and I was like, we kept going back and forth, like, don't rob him. And he's like, oh, we gotta. And then, <laughs> and then, and then he was like, I, I flipped it and I'm like, I'm telling him. He's like, but don't. It's just not like enjoy their last no, year. It's crazy money. Yeah. Money does that. I, I wouldn't. We would never. But um I don't even I don't remember like a Ball specific parts. Ball parts. I, I mean I don't remember like a specific incident that tipped me off, but I'd say I was probably ten. Okay. Around I believe for a while. Yeah. You know? Maybe even longer. Ten or eleven. She How made, old were you guys? She made the dream last. <laughs> Yvette, Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, that's right. There you go. <laughs> Kelly said, I haven't found out. He never found out. Oh. Did we just ruin it for you, Kelly? No. no. It's Spoiler it's alert. <laughs> this is, you know, this is an evening show. Kelly, you should probably be in, you know, getting your jammies on no. and getting the cookies ready for Santa. <laughs> <and all this. laughs> I know, but like. You should be getting like life together for Santa, you know. Just Maybe saying. that was a bad question. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a bad question. No questions, a bad question. Okay. All right. Yvette says five years old when I was a child. Kelly said seven. Oh, oh well, hi. Yay. Hey there. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> she say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. My heart. All right, we're about to pop off. We just we're saying hi and giving everybody some laughs. Are your cookies all done? And we have one. All right, go master blast the giant Santa cookie. So much fun going on in the Price household. <laughs> Woo! All right, well, 
I am grateful for everybody that came on and joined us. Yes, Kelly, that's my seven-year-old Sophie. She's going to be eight in April. Um, and uh, Dr. Deborah actually baptized her. So I know you know who she is. So uh, anyways, we're about to take off here and help clean up all the frosting and sprinkles that I'm sure are all over my carpet. Maybe eat some cookies. Maybe eat some cookies. Yeah, maybe have another toast. <laughs> Cheers. We love you guys. Thanks for joining. We wish you a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Be safe. Be Happy healthy. Happy holidays. Yes. Make lots of wishes. They do come true. They do. Believe in the magic of Christmas. And uh, we'll catch you guys, I'm sure, at some point tomorrow. I can't promise 2 o'clock because, you know, it's Christmas. But I will be on at some point just to uh, give you a proper hello and blessing. So, happy Christmas Eve. We love you. And I'll see you tomorrow.